Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share with you some early holiday finds. You guys know that I love the holidays so much and so when I saw that they started putting out holiday stuff at all my favorite stores, I could not resist because you know with the stores like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, and Marshalls that it might not always be there when you go back. You kind of have to pick it up when you see it. So I've got some fun fall stuff that can also be used at Halloween and then of course I picked up a couple Christmas items as well. So anyway, yes, lots of fun stuff to share with you guys. I cannot wait for the holidays. I know it's only August, well aware. <laughs> but again, I was so excited to find some new goodies so soon since they already started putting it out. So without further ado, let's get into my first official holiday decor haul for the year. I'm going to start by sharing all of my pumpkins and fall items first, just because of course, Halloween, Thanksgiving, and fall stuff all come before Christmas. So that's kind of going to be my little method for my madness for this video. So this first pumpkin should look a little familiar if you watched my videos last year, because I picked up the full size version last year for my house and so when I saw this little ma mini baby version of it I thought this would be so cute in my cubicle at work and I cannot wait to take it there so look at how cute this little pumpkin is again I do have a lot larger of a version of this pumpkin for my house but this little baby one was too cute to pass up I paid $4.99 for, for this from home goods and I just thought it was so adorable it's so Kate Spade with the polka dots again I still love it this year and I bought the first one last year so so adorable I love the little curly stem and I just could not get enough of this and so when I saw one of my favorite finds from last year in a little mini version I thought yes I have to have that <laughs> so I know that all of my co-workers and I we all love to decorate so I'm gonna go into work a little bit early when it comes time to decorating for Halloween and set up all my stuff I need to come up with a game plan I was just telling my sister I should kind of maybe blueprint drop what I'm going to do for my cubicle maybe I can even share it with you guys um, and film it all for you so I will certainly see but I do want to decorate my cubicle of course for the holidays because you guys know how much I love the holidays. So these next two pumpkins, I was really excited to find because again, they're super cute, super affordable, and they're gonna look adorable in my cubicle. So I found both of these from Marshalls for only $3.99. So I picked up two of this really cute, dusty baby pink pumpkins with the fun gold metallic stems. I thought that these were really cute. They're not glass, they are wood, whereas this one is definitely glass. So this is kind of a ceramic, actually more so, not really glass, but again, more breakable than these wood ones. So I thought that these were just too cute. I love them, super affordable for only $3.99 from Marshalls, really, really cute. They're not like a perfect baby pink color. They are a little bit more dusty, kind of mauve toned, blush toned, but I think that they're just too adorable. They're gonna look really, really cute in my cubicle. So cannot wait to take them there decorate decorate with them at my office and then I also picked up one more pumpkin for my cubicle so far. So the last pumpkin that I had picked up for my cubicle so far, I was super excited to find this at Ross. It was only $4.99 and this is almost identical to some pumpkins that I bought a couple years ago from Home Goods. I think I paid about 10 bucks for those and again this was half the price for five dollars. So I picked up this really fun white iridescent kind of opalescent type pumpkin. I just thought this was so cute. The only difference though between the pumpkins that were iridescent that I bought a couple years ago is that this little part was gold and I believe a little bit longer um, but this one is just all white all iridescent. So it's still really really cute. There's no words on it, no designs, nothing but I thought it was adorable. I might be able to jazz this up some way or another. I don't really know. Haven't really decided yet, but I think it's gonna look really cute in my cubicle. Um, and I think that it'll match well with the pink ones too. So, ah, oh, love it. So cute. So anyway, yes next pumpkin for my cubicle. I have two more pumpkins though that I plan on keeping at my house and in my home office. So this next pumpkin I found at Home Goods. It was only $7.99 and I kind of went back and forth on this pumpkin but I'm really glad I decided to pick it up. This is from the brand at Nicole Miller Home. I always love her stuff but there was just something about this little Tiffany blue pumpkin that I could not pass up. So the coloring on my viewfinder makes it look a little bit more blue but this does have more green in it. But what's really cool about the stem is that it's kind of like see through Tiffany blue glass which I just thought was so adorable so you guys know that I have Tiffany blue fat or not Tiffany blue but Tiffany and co fashion books all that stuff so I thought that this might be kind of cute kind of set up with a little display in my home office um, and kind of decorate it 
decorate those books with this in that room. So that was kind of my plan and idea behind this. Um, I know that they do have a lot of blue pumpkins and stuff, but nothing this color, nothing that would really match all of my Tiffany decor and all that stuff. So that's why I decided to pick up this little pumpkin right now. Again, from Home Goods from for only $7.99. So then the last and final pumpkin, I picked this up from my house. This was $9.99 from Home Goods. Really excited to find this baby. This is a blush pink pumpkin with a silver stem. I don't know if it's fully showing up on camera. True to color as far as the stem goes. It kind of looks rose gold from here, but it is silver. It's super cute. I think this is so fun. Again, it's just a plain glass ceramic pumpkin. Really, really cute. So I love this. It's a pretty good size compared to some of my other ones. So if you want to see it, I'm going to kind of hold it by the two little holes at the bottom. If you want to see size comparison, this is next to the iridescent one. This is next to the little polka dot one. See how baby this is? And then this one is a little bit larger than the polka dot one. So really, really cute. I love this. And you guys know that usually all my stuff is pink and gold, but there was just something about this little silver top that I could not pass up. And I do have some decor for my Halloween stuff that's black, white, and silver. So I thought this would be kind of fun to mix in my pink color with, and then also keep that little silver theme with that set of uh, decorations that I put on my hutch. You know what? I might actually insert a picture of my decor last year that I posted on Instagram and like you'll see that the silver stuff is kind of at the bottom. So yes, love this, super cute. Cannot wait to add this to collection add this to my collection. <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, super excited that I found this at Home Goods for only 10 bucks. So this next item I'm really excited about, but I'm going to have to look up the actual official first day of fall because I can put this out the first day that fall starts and leave this out all the way through November or all the way through Thanksgiving. I'm really excited for this, but it's this beautiful kind of like faux velvety feeling pillow and it says hello fall in gold metallic lettering this pillow is so pretty i love the font i love the size i love the feeling i love the colors it is just so perfect it's gonna look so cute with all of my other fall and halloween thanksgiving type decor really really cute i only have one other fall pillow really um and that's all white with gold metallic detailing i might insert a picture of that too if i can find one um and it has like kind of fall stuff on it and it says grateful or thankful thankful grateful goodness you guys i'm losing it like i said this summer's been rough <laughs> So, um, yes, I think that those two pillows will look really, really cute together. And this pillow is so big, so huge. It's from the brand Cynthia Rowley. And I found this at Home Goods for $16.99. So such a good deal. I don't even know if you guys can see the tag there, but I love it. Oh, oh, this is nice. It's got a zipper at the bottom so you can take it off and wash it if you need it. That's really nice. So if any of your guests get their fall foods on it <laughs> you can take off the little cover and wash it that's actually a really really nice detail so i love this and i think it says yeah it says it's a feather filled decorative pillow so that's lovely i love it it's soft it's huge it's adorable it's perfect for fall if you are girly and you love those fall colors in your decor and i guess you don't really don't need to be girly to love pink but i love it i think it's adorable so excited I found this. And I know that there were some other kind of pink pumpkin type pillows that I saw at my store, but they were a little too blush, a little too peachy. Um, but this was just like the perfect shade of pink. So I was really, really excited to find this. So yes, I've got a couple more things. They are all Christmas based, but that is all I have for fall and Thanksgiving stuff and Halloween stuff that I have picked up so far. So my first two Christmas items, I actually saw them on the Hobby Lobby website first. So when I went into my store, I was so excited that I actually found them in stock and I did not have to order them on Online. So these both were originally $11.99. I made two separate trips so that I could use a 40% off on both, a 40% off coupon on both, just because I didn't want to pay full price and they had a bunch in stock. So I knew that I could go pick up one one day and then go back the next day and pick up another one. So I'm super excited for both of these and I decided to pick up two sets. I'll tell you why in just a minute, but this is what I picked up. And if you're like Lauren, that looks like a box of bag charms, you're kind of correct. <laughs> they are shatterproof for furry ball ornaments. I'm so excited for these. I think they're so fun and different and I think they're going to be really, really cute on one of my Christmas trees. So the, dis the reason why I decided to pick up two of them is so I could put one on a tree in my office here at my house and then also put some on a tree in my office at my cubicle at my 
work at my job. <laughs> so I think that they're really, really fun. They're a little squished right now just because they've been inside a plastic box, but I think they're so adorable. They come with clear string hangers, but I think that I'm going to take those off and kind of add an actual ornament hook. But I love them. I think they're super cute. You guys know if you watched my Christmas videos last year that I picked up a fur pink Christmas tree skirt. So I might have to get a full size tree to put in my office here at my house and then I could put these on there and also use that tree skirt. I think that'd be really, really cute. So that's why I decided to pick up two sets, one for here at my house, one for my cubicle at work. So love them. Super duper cute. So I think I explained that the price was $12. So with the 40% off coupon, made them a little over seven bucks. Um, so it's a little over a dollar for each ornament ball, which really isn't that bad. Um, I know that the ornaments at Target are not seven bucks and sometimes they have smaller sets than this. So I love them. I think they're so cute. So excited for these and I can't wait to see what else Hobby Lobby gets in for all their Christmas stuff just because I know they kind of change themes every year. Sometimes they'll bring back a theme. Sometimes they won't. They'll add a new one. So I'm interested to see what else comes out. So I do have a couple more Christmas items also from Hobby Lobby for this video. So this next item I'm really excited for because as you guys know, if you watched my Christmas videos from last year, this will look a little familiar. And I really wanted a second one last year, but when I went back, they did not have any. So since I've been to Hobby Lobby a couple times this summer, I decided to pick this up again. I used a coupon. So this was also $11.99. So with the 40% off coupon, made it a little over seven bucks. So I picked up another one of these because there was only one hanging. They had a bunch of other styles, but only one of this. So I picked up another one of these beautiful blush mauve plastic tinsel garlands. My plan with this is to put one in my office here at my house and then also take one to work with me. I think it is just so beautiful, so gorgeous, so stunning. Um, I'm not really much into plastic Christmas stuff, but there was just something about this that was just so pretty. I just love the mix of kind of like thick pieces of tinsel and then thin pieces of tinsel. I think it's really pretty. So the actual length on this is nine feet long. So super cute. Again, I paid a little over seven bucks for, for this from Hobby Lobby. I just love it. So excited to have a second one. Um, and yeah, I cannot wait. As you guys know, I don't really like plasticky type things. I like glass stuff. I like bougie stuff. I like full on actual Christmas tree type garlands, but there was just something about this that just really stood out. So I really, really like this. So yes. Anyway, that's my next piece. I have one more item that I picked up personally. And then I also have an items of my mom's that I cannot wait to share with you. So this next piece is so fun and so adorable, but it also does not match my pink, white, and gold girly themed Christmas decor. This is going to go with all of my traditional vintage type Christmas decor. As you guys know, I kind of have two themes that I like to collect and this is going to look so cute with my other other vintage type pieces, but I also found this at Hobby Lobby. This was originally 20 bucks, 19.99, but with a 40% off coupon, it made it 12 dollars, which is just so fun. So this is a wooden sign and it looks like a vintage, um, like little snowflake box cover. <laughs> so I think it is so cute. It even kind of has like that distressed edge to make it look old and vintage, but it just says push button spray, instant snow jumbo flakes. Amazing, safe, fun, safe, fun for kids, easy to use. And it has a really cute Santa. And then it also says amazing right here. So I love the red, green, and white. I'm not really a person that loves a lot of blue or a lot of like multicolored stuff. I kind of like to stick with my pink, gold, and white girly stuff or my very traditional vintage Christmas stuff. So I love this. I think this is gonna be so cute. My mom also picked one of these up because they were just so adorable. And she also picked up one more piece that I'm obsessed with. I think it's gonna be so cute in her kitchen. And so that's why I'm going to include that in this video. So like I said, this is the last and final piece for this video. And of course it's my mom's, it's not mine, but she found this at Hobby Lobby. It was $17.99. And then with the 40% off coupon, it made it around $11 or so. So this is a hanging sign. You don't have to hang it. You can lean it up against something, but it's so cute and so adorable. And there was only one. So I'm hoping that they will get some more in because it's just too cute, but it basically is supposed to look like a little serving tray, but then it says Christmas blend hot cocoa served here. So it's like a little hot cocoa bar tray sign thing that can be hung. So, so cute. It even has like the little metal hangers if you want to hang it on the wall. So really, really cute. I love this. I think this is so adorable. I love kind of like that gray whitewash like wood look. And then of course with the fun traditional red and green and then the wood 
for the lettering and the little details is just so perfect. So again, such a good deal for only $11, a really cute little sign. And so like when we have company over for Christmas, we do like to have a little hot cocoa bar. So this is going to be super cute in that area in her kitchen. So I was really excited for her when she found this because it's so cute. So again, from Hobby Lobby for only $11. So Yes, that is all I have for this video. I think it is now time to officially close this video out. So like I said, that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's only August, like I said at the beginning of this video, but it's never too early to start shopping for the holidays. So I'm so excited for the holidays. I cannot wait, but honestly, I do need a little bit of time before they start. So I don't mind picking up stuff as far as decor goes, but I do need a little time before the holidays get here. So hello world, if you could slow down just a little bit, that would be great. So anyway, we're with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That way you'll be notified when I post new videos. And if you want an alert sent directly to your phone the second I upload a video, feel free to hit that notification bell right down below. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media pages, in the meantime, I do have Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat. Like I've said in the last couple of videos, I'm not really on Snapchat like I used to. So definitely follow me on Instagram because that is where I am there the most. So <laughs> again, my little handles are right down here. I forgot to tell you guys they are right here so definitely feel free to follow me on any of those um, but with that said I hope you guys enjoyed I am sort of kind of slowly but quickly making my return to YouTube so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will be back with more videos very very soon thank you guys for watching thank you for sticking around thank you for all the support and again I'm sorry for my absence for the last four two to four months or so so with that said thank you I love you I hope you guys are all doing well and I will see you all in my next video